Chicago Girls Vlog Takeover. Hey, how are you guys doing? It's Jess here and Callie. We are having a girls' day out today. Where are the boys today, Callie? At home having no fun. <laughs> I hope they're having some fun. And where are we today? We are in Waco, Texas at the Magnolia Silos. Yes, we are. We took a little girls' day. We just went out to lunch. We did a little bit of shopping, didn't we? Now we are at the Magnolia Silos. We're going to meet up with some friends here. If you look right behind my shoulder, let's see if I can show you. There they are, right there. The iconic Chip and Joe Fixer Upper Magnolia Silos. If you've never been here before, this is a really awesome place to visit. Chip and Joe, I love them. I know a lot of you probably do too. They built a really fun place for people to come and hang out. There's so much to do here. It's a lot more than just a shop. Um, there's a bunch of things to look at. There's a bunch of fun places just to chill and relax and get a drink or some food. So it's really cool. One thing that we are gonna be visiting today is their bakery. Now, I would say this is one of the most popular tourist foodie destination bakeries in the country. Now, about a month ago, we, the whole Chicago crew, visited a different, very, very popular, very traveled to bakery in Orlando, Florida. We went to Gideon's Bakehouse at Disney Springs. Now, Gideon's Bakehouse has been all the hype since it opened in Disney Springs. We've been hearing all about it. We had to go visit it when we were in Orlando in March. It was quite a process. Uh, we had to wait in line for 15 minutes to get our names on a text message list. Then we had to wait about three hours to get the text message. Then we had to go back to the store. We had to wait about 45 minutes to get into the store. And then once we were inside the store, we had to wait about another 15 minutes to get our baked goods. So it was quite an ordeal. Um, very, very popular, obviously. Uh, we tried five different cookies while we were there. The atmosphere inside is amazing. Um, so we're gonna compare this to Magnolia Bakery. The Magnolia Bakery often has a wait. Um, it has an amazing backstory, just like the Gideon's Bakehouse. You can read the Gideon's Bakehouse backstory on their website. The Magnolia Bakery backstory is actually featured in, I believe, season four of Fixer Upper, if you wanna see the whole story behind um, the design of the bakery. It's really, really fun. Um, so you know what? The one thing that I, uh, I'm not sure how it's going to measure up is the, is the baked goods. I'm hoping that we don't have to wait three hours to get into the Magnolia Bakery. I, I don't think they'll be open for three more hours, but we're going to go get in line. We're going to give it a try. We are going to try some of those baked goods, and we're going to let you know what wins, Magnolia or Gideon's. Stay tuned. Come along with us. Here we are, Kels. Look up. Look up. What do you see? the silos so excited what do you think should we go get in line sure all right lead the way girl hey we're walking along here right next to the silos I can see the line and I can already tell it is nothing compared to Gideon's this is not gonna be a four hour long wait process that makes me happy <laughs> We just got a bunch of stuff so much along stuff. with some fancy drinks. Look at their bottled water. So cute. Like, this is their bottled water. Even their bottled water is cute. Yeah, do you like it? Callie had to get a Dr. Pepper because we are right down the street from the Dr. Pepper Museum. So I'm going to unload all of our uh, treats and we'll be back. We made the truck. We had to try a lot of treats, okay? So we are trying their gluten-free peanut butter oatmeal. I'm really interested to see how this compares to the regular cookie. We are trying their regular chocolate chip because that's the king of all cookies, right? And then, come and look at this. We had to try oh a lot of the cupcakes, right? We have their blueberry crumble muffin right here. 
We have their strawberries and cream. We have the silo muffin, because you have to try the, actually no, it's called the ship lab. Right, you have to try that. And then we also got a carrot cake, because that's the best ever. So we are going to indulge, and then we'll, uh, we'll check back in. Split each cupcake up into four pieces, because there are four of us, so we're being scientific about this, right? Yes. So we are each gonna get to try them all. Destiny already started. And we, yes, Destiny could not wait to get into that strawberry cupcake. How is it, Destiny? Is it awesome? Callie, which one do you want to try first? Uh, I'll try the strawberry. Go for it. There we go. All right. Let me know what you think. First impression bite. <laughs> yeah? You like it? You like thumbs it? Up. <laughs> all right, all Two right. Thumbs <laughs> Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up for the strawberry cupcake. So, here we go. This is the chocolate. Wow. It's really good. It's almost like a brownie. It's really rich. The buttercream is really good, not too sweet. All right, let's try their carrot cake. This is one of their seasonal flavors right now. Callie, you gotta try this one. Okay. Mm. That's my favorite. I don't even need to try the rest. That's like the perfect, like chunky, carrot cake with cream cheese icing. All right, this is their blueberry crumble muffin. Mm. It's hard to compare anything to the carrot cake, honestly. All right, last one, strawberry. Is that your favorite? I'd give it 1,000. 1,000 thumbs up. are all really good. <laughs> we decided to take a little break from the sweets. We walked around. We saw the store. This is a beautiful place. Now I'm just sitting enjoying the ambiance of the silos, you guys. Back here behind me, this is new since I've been here. They actually built a little baseball diamond. It's right there. And then there's a cute little chapel right here. Over here, there's like a covered pergola area with some pools. Guys, this place is beautiful. We've also got all these little food trucks. I got this cute sweet tea. Like I need more sugar, right? So anyways, I have got a couple of cookies to try. And then we're gonna have our uh, our announcement of if uh, the bakery here beats Gideon's Bakehouse. I noticed earlier I was calling it Magnolia Bakery. It's actually called Silo's Baking Co. So I had to make sure I crushed that. So right here, I have got the gluten-free peanut butter oatmeal cookie. I know a lot of people can't have gluten. Maybe you can't have gluten. Maybe you can't open the cookie. All right. Look at this guy. It's as big as my face. We're gonna give this a try. Look at that. It's really, really chewy and gooey like a cookie should be. Wow. Y'all, that was good. I can't even tell that that was gluten free. So good. All right, now we have our chocolate chip. And look at this right here. All right. That's delicious. Give me a few minutes, I'm gonna indulge. I'll be back to share my thoughts on Silo's Baking Co. versus Gideon's Baking Co. All right guys, I'm back. I'm in my car because it is so windy out there as you can tell by my extremely wind-tossed hair. Uh, but I just wanted to close this out here. Overall, our experience today at the silos was awesome. The bakery was great. There was a line, but they had a good system getting people in and out of there. Delicious, delicious cupcakes and cookies. Now the cookies are the real 
the real deciding factor because cookies are what Gideon's Bakehouse is famous for. Now, when we went to, go to Gideon's, they had uh, five types of cookies available. Peanut crunch, double chocolate, cookies and cream, chocolate chip, and chocolate pistachio. Today at Magnolia Silos, we tried the chocolate chip cookie and the gluten-free peanut butter oatmeal cookie. Now, this might be a little bit controversial, but I'm gonna have to say the Silos is the winner. Um, if you are gonna drive, because you know, unless you live in Waco or Orlando, you have to drive a bit to get to these bakeries. If you're gonna make a trip to one of these foodie bakery destinations, I gotta say, for the time spent, the money spent, and the taste, Silos Baking Company wins it hands down. Their cookies were perfect and amazing. The cupcakes were so flavorful and good. Um, the gluten-free cookie was actually my favorite. I couldn't even tell that it was gluten-free. It was incredible. So, if you're gonna do that, I would recommend coming here. If you love baked goods, come and check it out. It was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Thank you all for joining us on our adventure. And now it is time to high five and hit subscribe.